So the year was 619 AD, and one of the most painful events to happen in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, took place. As he was later on asked, what was the most painful incident in your life? And he said, this very incident. That includes all the battles, or one of the battles which the Muslims lost and had many, many casualties. He did not pick that one, but he picked this incident which we are going to be talking about today. So let's start by setting the scene a little bit. Now, the Prophet Muhammad's wife, Khadija, and his uncle Abu Talib both passed away shortly before this incident, and the Muslims were being persecuted severely. Now, when his uncle uh, Abu Talib passed away, uh, he lost his legal protection in Mecca, or what would nowadays be considered like a passport. So he lost his passport and protection, so really anybody could do anything they wanted to him. Um, and to make matters worse, the new leader of his tribe was Abu Lahab, which was his other uncle who was severely opposed to his message and was ready to take on um, stopping the message. So the situation in Mecca for the Muslims was really bad. Many Muslims were being tortured, persecuted, um, and those who did not have any sort of protection as we talked about, or they were slaves, they were, they were tortured even worse, and some of them were even killed. So in the midst of all this, the Prophet Muhammad decides to leave Mecca or to try um, spreading the message of Islam in a different place. So he takes his companion Zayd, and, who is also a Muslim, and they travel to a nearby city known as Ta'if. Now they go to the city and they start preaching the message of Islam, which is very simply that there is only one God worthy of worship, who is not a man, who does not have children, who does not have parents or siblings or cousins. He is not an animal, nor can he be represented as any of the creation. He is not worshipped as an idol or a statue. He is simply the creator of the universe. And he preached this idea and he spread this idea and told this idea. But the people of Ta'if did not take nicely to it. And rather than just rejecting it nicely as normal humans and civilized humans should, they, the people of Ta'if, told their mobs and even their children to pick up rocks and stones and to stone the Prophet Muhammad and his companion. His companion Zayd tried to shield him at first, but there's only so much you can do when an entire city is trying to kill you and stone you to death. So they eventually flee and um, they walk for a couple of kilometers until they reach a garden. By this moment and by this time, um, they're bleeding heavily um, until the point where their shoes are almost filled with blood. Um, and they get to this garden and one can obviously imagine that they are probably filled with anger and rage. So the Archangel Gabriel, which Christians would also be familiar with this name, um, he comes to the Prophet Muhammad and tells him that if he decides and if he wishes that there, um, the two mountains on either side of Ta'if will be crumbled down onto the city and would kill the people who oppressed him. If any of us were in his shoes, um, we would probably uh, curse the people or even if we just say a curse word like the F word or as they would say if we were the judge, jury and executioner as he was in the situation where if he really wanted they could be killed on the spot we would probably take the option at least try and inflict some harm upon them. But what did he do? He said, no, I don't want them to be killed and I hope that someday from their descendants there will be people who believe there's only one God worthy of worship and to him they are to submit and, don't, and not to associate any partners um, or in other words that they would be Muslims. And fast forward 1400 years to today and the city of Sla'if is still standing um, thanks to the Prophet Muhammad not asking for it to be destroyed and it has 700,000, um, uh, an estimated 700,000 population, predominantly which are Muslims. I hope that was a helpful reminder and I will see you all in the next video. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.